my version on photography, which is exposure priorities. And the first thing that you need to address is you need to figure out what your subject is, what it exactly it is you're photographing. And I find this is also good for aesthetic reasons. So ask yourself, what's your subject? And the big question you want to ask after that is, is the subject moving? Because that makes a huge difference in what you are doing. Okay? Now, let's just say that the subject is moving. We'll say a running giraffe. Okay? Well, you can do two things at this point. You can freeze the motion, or you can choose some different options on your camera and blur the motion. So freezing the motion or blurring the motion if the subject is moving. So the other option is that the subject is not moving. Okay? So if it's not moving, you have two options. Maximize depth of field to get as much in focus as possible. And you can go with shallow depth of field. All right, now I'm going to throw one more in here that I'm not going to be able to fully explain this week, but we'll deal more with later, um, and that is maximize sharpness. If you were trying to maximize the sharpness of your lens, that is also an option for a subject that is not moving. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these five fundamental tools, and they're not really tools, but um, procedures in photography, and we're going to look at different examples of these and how we would go around go about setting shutter speeds and apertures for them.